Good morning traders, Richard here doing a quick Ichimoku cloud chart market for the S&P 500 index futures contract. In the last update we were highlighting this front end cloud chart resistance of 4042, that resistance zone held. Uh, this comes after a fantastic rebound rally from this old cloud chart support zone of 3548. Then managed to get through the uh, turning line of the cloud, then the standard line, a little bit of resistance there, broke past that and only uh, to run into trouble at the 4042 bottom in cloud chart resistance level. So it's consolidating this move now. One can expect some form of a consolidation of this move. Now, technically speaking, from a cloud chart perspective, we are in bearish territory because price action below the cloud is bearish. But we are trading these swing trades from these key support zones back up to the bottom end of the cloud. That's the kind of swing trade uh, to the upside with short selling to the downside opportunities. Now, currently it's fighting for support there at the standard line of the cloud. You can see that purple line is now used to be resistance for two weeks. Now it's support. So if that support holds, we should see another attempt at this 4042 and then this front end cloud chart resistance, roughly 161, 4161 and then 4238. So these might be the upside targets into the year end uh, rally. Only if support holds at this uh, standard line of the Ichimoku cloud. If support fails, then we, there's downside risk back down to the turning line of the cloud here, as well as a front end, bottom end cloud chart support zone. And these are the key levels to watch out for that front 3849 and 3749 and 3776 but only if support fails at this level. Turning to the daily Ichimoku, yeah, we can see beautiful breakout past cloud chart resistance. We're back above the top end of the cloud, so that's bullish on the daily, and you can see how the 4042 resistance level held. The other two upside resistance target is this 4154 and 4186, the top end of the cloud. Yeah, so these are the upside resistance targets on the daily. Now, currently, it's fighting for support here at the top end of the cloud. You can see how that top end cloud chart level there managed to, the S&P managed to rebound from that level. So it's critical to stay above that cloud chart level. And then we could see a further rebound into the year end as the market might make another attempt at the 4042 zone. If support fails, we're looking at this turning line of the cloud here as the next level of support, 3901. And if support fails there, we're looking at this front end cloud chart support level of 3873. And by that time, the uh, standard line of the cloud would most likely have caught up with that level. So two levels to watch out for this front cloud support zone of 3873 as well as this alt uh, support zone of this turning line there, the standard line there, the purple line there. So those are the two levels to watch out for. So downside risk to this level, and then we could see a potential rebound further uh, out of the cloud. But uh, so far, so good support test at the top in the cloud. So that's good with downside risk dipping into the cloud and then a further rebound from that level. But as long as price action stays above the cloud, we're still bullish on the daily. Now let's take a look at what's happening on the 4-hour Ichimoku cloud. There we can see this beautiful support test at the top end of the cloud. There it's held uh, for a couple of trades now. So, so far so good. There's downside risk to 3937 as well as this front end cloud 3900. So that's kind of the line in the sand on the 4-hour. But we're back above the top end of the cloud. So that's bullish on the 4-hour chart. You can see that beautiful rebound from these old support levels down here. Breakout past cloud chart resistance. Huge rally ran into the uh, bottom end cloud chart resistance on the weekly. So that was a significant zone, consolidating a bit because by this time it was quite extended from this top end cloud chart level. So it's consolidating this move. So there's a potential for a further rebound from this top end cloud chart support zone with downside risk to 3,937 and 3,900. So that's kind of the line in the sand. As long as the price action stays above this bottom end cloud chart support level, we are a, a bullish on the four hour chart. Uh, but we do need to stay above that level. So critical for the market to continue to rebound from this front end cloud chart support level. But do note we do have downside risk to 39.37 and 3,900. So that's uh, also a potential rebound rally from a swing trade perspective. But so far so good. We're back above the top end of the cloud on the four hour. We're back above the top end of the cloud on the daily. So if all goes well, we should have a rally into the year. And it's only the weekly chart. It gives us some ideas how far this rally can last back up to the bottom end of the cloud with the 4161 and 4238 as the upside resistance targets on the weekly. Until next time, happy cloud chart trading. Bye for now.